Hello ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us today. My name is Dennis Walker. I am a 30 plus year recreational scuba diver and an 18 plus year uh, certified, qualified commercial diver, dive supervisor. Uh, today, we're here on behalf of National Marine and Diving Services. Uh, National Marine and Diving Services is a company that I work for uh, as one of the executive officers and diving operations manager. Um, our company decided to put together eight or so small short clips to let everybody out there see and uh, start to understand a little bit of how commercial diving works, commercial diving gear, um, and how what we do under the water, you know, the effect of all the equipment that we use. So we thought the best way to do that would be first to show you guys some of the differences between recreational scuba diving and commercial diving gear. Uh, today we're here to show you the recreational scuba diver dress as well as the commercial diver dress. Um, we're not going to go into the air systems right now. We're not going to go into the umbilicals. We're not going to go into underwater video communications. Right now we're strictly going to focus on dress for recreational and, and commercial divers. Um, and as so, I have brought with me one of two assistants. I would like to introduce my first assistant, my daughter, Ava Walker. Uh, Ava, please join us. Ava's going to show us how to put together recreational scuba gear. Ava, say hi to everybody. Hello. Well, I don't know what you're going to do. Okay, so I'm going to be demonstrating how to assemble recreational scuba gear. All right, go and walk them through it. Remember, stay, so, in the, stay in this. There you go. So, Put it right here in the middle. This is your scuba tank. This is where the air comes from that you'll be breathing underwater. Now, in our dive bag, we have our BCD. We have our regulators. We have you can put them right over there. our flippers, we have our goggles, and our weight belt. We also have a snorkel here to go with our goggles. All right. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do just take your BCD, take this black cap off of the top. So, you're going to want to slide your Velcro. Your strap. right on. So when you lift up the top of your BCD, it should be about even with a little metal piece. Straps are tight. There you go. All right. What's next? So. There you go. Next. You're going to take your regulators. So, you're going to want to take your regulator, this little middle metal piece, 
you're gonna put this on here just like Turn so. The way. And then I'm gonna tighten it up. All right, no tools needed for this. Okay. Now for this little black hose at the end of your inflator. inflator for your BCD, there's going to be a little metal piece at the bottom. You're going to want to take that metal piece and this metal piece, pull down the top of it and put it right on there and make sure it clicks. All right. So, your booties and your weight belt. Oh yes, I forgot one thing. My booties were included in the gear. I just already had them on. Okay, next. All right. So with recreational scuba diving, um, recreational scuba diving works off of a buddy system. Whenever you're in the water, whenever you're getting dressed in, and whenever you're getting off your gear, you're working with your buddy, your dive partner. This is going to be a person that you're going to have with you when you're in the water. They're going to be within visual distance of you at all times. When you guys are out of the water, you guys are gonna lean on each other, help each other get your gear on, and help, you guys, help each other get your gear off. Um, today we had the privilege of having one of our National Marine Dive Crew out here, a uh, qualified commercial diver, uh, dive tender, Dominic. Dominic, can you join us? He's gonna be acting as Ava's recreational diving buddy. All right, Ava, Dominic, okay. what do you to do? Well. Dom, would you help me put my weight belt. weight belt on? Of course, Ava. Okay, this goes like this, right? Yes. Okay. Come up here. Why is this not doing that again? Oh. Okay, so next, Dom, will you help me put on my BCD? Sure, Ava. sure everything's tightened up. All right. Now do your swoops. You got it? Now, Dom, will you put this in my pocket for me? You got the weight? Yep. There's one behind it, there you go. So, this is your emergency... Regulator? Regulator. This is only going to be needed on emergencies, which hopefully there will be none. This is your main regulator. This is the one that you'll be using to breathe in the water unless, of course, something goes wrong and you need your emergency regulator. Okay, it's time to check your air. All right, Dom, will you check my air? Got air. All right. Check your egg. Make sure you got air for your egg. Good. Good job. All right. All right. Well, thanks for helping me, guys. Hey, 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 hang on. Get back here. We're not done. What? <laughs> I know you want to go play. All right, remember, guys, we said we're going to show you recreational and commercial gear. So we're not done yet. So she just got a little overzealous. Um, Dom, can you help her go ahead and, and, and take your gear off? Go ahead and secure the air once she's done. I'm stuck. See, it doesn't want me to get out. <laughs> I bet it doesn't. Perfect. 
All right, so as we said earlier, this is recreational gear. Um, I believe right now, a lot of the different scuba companies are starting to teach kids as, long, as young as 11. Um, recreational scuba, uh, uh, used to be between 11 and 13 years of age. Um, with this, you have a buddy, it's, it's a great experience underwater, there's a lot you can do with it. Uh, but now I wanna get into the commercial certified construction diving gear. So Ava, can you show these guys what this gear is and how to put it on? Um, no. No. <laughs> All right. I, I didn't think she would fall for that, guys, to be honest with you. Um, commercial gear and recreational gear, there are a little bit of similarities, but there's a lot of differences. Uh, Ava knows that she's not qualified or certified to put on commercial gear and to move and, and to, to work in the, commercial, in, in the commercial construction industry and diving. For that, we're lucky enough to have, again, one of National Marines' youngest dive tenders, uh, entry-level divers, Dominic. Dominic, can you walk everybody through just a simple dress and, and, and how to put it on? Sure thing. Let's grab it and walk up here and stand up here, woman. So normally, I'd be wearing a wetsuit and booties, but I'm not wearing that today. If you could give me a hand putting on my bailout harness, that would be great. This is the first step to dressing a diver. So what we have here is the diver's bailout. This is spare air. This is secondary air in case anything happens on the surface where the diver's air that's being pumped down to him is severed, blocked, or stops. This is simply emergency air to get him off the bottom and hopefully back to the boat before, before he runs out. I got the Got it. All right. Let me come Next. around. Next, I'm going to put on my neck dam, which helps uh, my hat seal up properly. And now, in the commercial industry, we'll have a tender position. The tender will help the diver dress in to his hat. Go ahead and step through that. Just connecting my bailout harness to my diving hat so that the secondary air can go to my hat. Now I'm clipping my D-ring in. Next one up. So that my umbilical stays with me. Now I'm ready to don my hat. As a tender, we'll check his D-ring and his umbilical. We'll make sure that his bail out is hooked up. And that his rig looks good. At this point in time, he'll have a diving supervisor. Someone running the dive will be in the diving trailer on the, on the communications, watching the diver's air, listening to the diver, making sure there is no issues, making sure that his air is good. Um, and telling him basically another rundown of what he's about to do when he gets into the water. The tender outside will put his gloves on, walk him over to a ladder, lower him in the water slowly, maintaining control of the diver as he gets in the water. At that point in time, the tender would stay with the diver's umbilical the entire time of the dive. When the diver gets done diving, the diver comes up the ladder, the tender grabs the diver, keeps his hands on the umbilical, walks the diver over, takes the diver's hat off. We're about to take off this diver's hat, Stay tuned and watch how we do it. Good? Hang on. First, disconnect the D-ring. Make sure he's clear. Make sure he's popped. Now he's going to undo his hat. We're just going to support it. Once the diver hands me the hat, now it's mine. He'll undo his bow out. Go ahead and step out. 
We'll set the hat down. Come back over here. Back up just a hair. We'll support the diver while he takes off his bailout. The hatch you see here, ladies and gentlemen, is a Kirby Morgan 37. Kirby Morgan makes six different um, models of this hat. Uh, this is very typical of what you'll see in the commercial diving industry. Uh, there are about nine other hats out there that divers can choose from, but this is one of the primary hats that divers use today. Um, as you can see, the difference between recreational scuba and commercial dive gear is vastly different. There are some very small similarities, um, but this is what you have, guys. So we'd like to take a moment to thank you all for watching. Hope that you guys stayed with us. Hope it was interesting enough to catch your attention. If it was, and if you liked it, go ahead and hit that like button. Um, if you want to follow us, please do so. Uh, as I said, we plan on putting out between another eight to 10 videos. If there are any videos that are in reference to either recreational or commercial diving uh, that you might like to see, you might like to know a little bit more about, please feel free to email us at info at nationalmarineanddiving.com or you can look us up at www.nationalmarineanddiving.com. Uh, we look forward to everybody's input. Again, thank you and thank our great assistants. Y'all have a beautiful and safe day.